In this video, we are going to go over how to create a concrete graph. You will need a few materials for this. You will need graph paper of some kind. You can print off paper from the internet. Please see the video um, description for some PDFs. You could draw your own graph paper, or you could, if you wanted to graph something really large, like toys or stuffed animals, you can go to the dollar store, get a plastic sheet that you would use for a table covering, and some tape, masking tape, and you could create a really large graph. So be creative. You could grab a whiteboard and draw some lines on it as well. We can do two types of graphs. We could do a horizontal graph where our rows are going to be where we're graphing the information, or we could use a vertical graph where we're going to use the columns to graph our information. I'm gonna use a vertical graph for this. The next thing you're gonna need is some sort of object that you can graph, because a concrete graph uses real things. So here I have a pile of objects that I'm going to sort and then graph. You can graph anything. You could graph socks, shoes, toys, fruit in your house. Uh, make sure that you're asking your parents permission if you're doing this at home for things to use. So I'm going to graph these, so I have my objects, and I need a pen of some kind to do my writing because graphs do need labels and titles. So even though most of this is gonna be using real objects, I do wanna make sure that I'm creating a title and labeling my graph. So once I have my graph paper, my concrete objects, and my pen, I'm ready to start. Now the first thing, we want to observe what we have and we want to sort it and organize it. Think about what we're gonna graph. I'm gonna look at the attributes that these objects have. They have colors, they have sizes, and they have shapes. I'm gonna graph by color. So I'm gonna just sort them into colors here really quickly, just quick, a few sorts here. And now I'm ready to graph. I need to create a label at the bottom of my vertical graph for each thing. So I'm going to do orange, blue, green, wood. Once I have that done, I need to think about a title that this graph could have. It should be connected to the objects I'm sorting and how I'm sorting them, how I'm going to organize them on my graph. So I'm going to call these color objects. Now that I have my title and my labels done, I can start graphing. So I'm going to put one object in each space. It's important that you start right next to the label. Notice how I did not start my graph at the top. Okay, I'm starting on a vertical graph. I go from bottom up and I can't skip spots. They go right after one another. Blue right next to it, green, and wood. Once I'm done graphing, I want to double check that everything makes sense. Orange, blue, green, wood, color objects. Those all make sense. Now I can start analyzing my graph. I notice that I have more green than anything else. I notice that there's only one blue object. I also can tell how many there are all together. I'm going to start counting. I can see if there's five here, so I don't have to count that, and four. Five plus four is nine, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 objects in all. I can tell that there are one more green than wood 
and one more orange than blue. So those are some of the things that I can see for my graph. Once I'm done, I usually like to ask other people questions. Can you tell me how many wood objects I have in all? Can you tell me how many more wood there are than blue? If you said that there are four wood objects in all, you're right. And if you told me there were three more wood objects than blue, you're also correct. Now go and make your own graph. Remember, a concrete graph needs real objects. I'm going to take my objects off my graph and I'm going to erase my title and my labels and I'm going to try a new graph. Enjoy!